not with the most amount of hate or most amount of powerful cards for the matchup that you would like to see if you're a Black Devotion fan. It's G3 between Caleb Williams and Brett Jenkins. John Walker is able to get a game against Burn. We'll see if they can get a second one here. Caleb Williams, part of the Thomas Graves, Joseph Eckert car. We'll see if one of those players can make it to the finals here. There's a young power mancer on turn number two here for Caleb. So the creature elements of this deck are pretty easy for John Walkers to handle. They have a ton of removal, good blockers too. It's the burn side of the deck that's trouble. Yep. There's a uh, there's a magma spray. Take care of that young pyromancer. Williams does have a third land, Sacred Foundry. He's going to come into play on taps. Does he have a Phoenix? Yes, he does. Two damage will come across in the air. Jenkins down to 18. And the fact that he's already bled out of Magma Spray is a big deal because Saunders Phoenix is one of the few creatures that Burn can bring to the table that matters against Joan Walkers in a dragged out game. Yep. Hard, for it, hard for them to block it. They're a little soft in the air. And of course, it can come back over and over again. Lenroy wastes land number three here for Jenkins. So his mana base is a touch painful. And that is the only Magma Spray in this list. There's two copies of Anger of the Gods. Remains to be seen if Brett brought those in because they're not that great against Burn. Williams quickly draws and plays a mountain. He'll start by attacking. That'll work. Jenkins down to 16. Four mana, perhaps a Chandra? Absolutely. The Pyromaster is going to come in, going to go upstairs. Jenkins down to 15. And going ultimate with Chandra, definitely something that can come up in yeah. these games. Good in this deck, that's for sure. Lamar waste number three. Yikes. That's bad news for Brett. All sorts of trouble. It is a foil one, though. There's that. I bet Brett wish he drew something else. <laughs> It is nice to have your foil in a yep. waste or what have you, but. I think he knows he's in some serious trouble now because Williams is now coming from two different angles. There's a Planeswalker out there that's very difficult to handle, even though one damage turn doesn't seem like much. Working the way towards the ultimate is very scary. And then Chandra's Phoenix is just continually coming across. And as you mentioned, only one Magma Spray in the list. It's an attack for two. And Chandra is, Chandra ultimate is game over. Oh There's yeah. There's so many four damage spells in this deck now that it's, it's going to be 12, and when it's not 12, it's 9. There's a shot going upstairs. And the reason you see that is because he's going to follow up with Nylon. And just passing the turn back, Will Williams. Jenkins at 10, and he's not doing much of anything. Looks like he may have picked up a stomping ground for the turn. Want to play that on tap? That's two more life. Yeah. And no help in sight to stop the Chandra. Doesn't look that way. It's like a ticking time bomb out there. Brett may be able to beat the creatures in play. He may be able to beat the Chandra, but it's going to be real hard to beat both of them. Sometimes you just mulligan into a stinker. It'll happen. I mean, the Jun Planeswalkers deck is, again, relatively clunky, and it's not, it's... I don't want to say it's not great. It's poor in this matchup. Yeah. If we're just being honest, it's poor in the matchup. You can see Brett just continuously looking over his hand. Again, we don't have a great look at the contents, but you can tell you know, his hand is being forced into things that he does not want to do, like playing this stomping ground. It looked like he wanted to play it untapped for a little bit. And he said, all right, I guess I have to play this tap because I can't afford to just take two. Well, the problem is he did nothing last turn. Yeah. He just took a hit. So is he doing nothing this turn? Uh, that seems, it's impossible for anyone at that point. There's Mountain. This is an attack for four. Jenkins down to six. Oh. Ray, you gotta do something. Chandra's gonna tick up, put him down to five. And Caleb is more than happy to just pass the turn back. Jenkins draws a card, again consulting the grip. Here's two, three, four. That's a Chandra. That doesn't do too much on this board. And it looks like he's going to tick it up. Maybe Chandra goes after the other Chandra to whittle it down a little bit, but that doesn't even look to be the case. 
Yeah, and he's just yeah. going to extend the hand. He knows he's beat. Can't do much of anything here. Caleb Williams is going to win this match for Brett Jenkins 2-1. to one. And I do think that this is just a great matchup for Byrne. So hard for them to lose. Jump walkers can win, but they cannot make it. They cannot miss a step. Yes. If you miss on mana, if you miss a removal spell at a critical point, if you don't close the game out quickly enough, you need to hit all phases of the game at maximum efficiency to be good in the matchup. And Brett uh, didn't even come close to getting to do that there in that third game. That's an ideal pairing if you're burned. That's about as good as it gets, honestly. That would be that would be the matchup I was hoping for. Absolutely. <laughs> Don't know if we're going to have time for our next match here between Tragos and Huckabee. I imagine that those guys are still just kind of, I believe they started game three before we can move them over. So uh, I don't know if we'll be able to jump that way. But again, they are in game three. That's green-white aggro versus black-white mid-range. So 